Hello everyone, this is Lee from Peach and Plum Lab, the place for creative kids to learn and grow. So today I'm going to show you how to draw hydrangea. So hydrangea usually is like a big uh, flower that is made of actually small pieces of flower. And for the small flower, it usually has four petals. First, let's start with almost like a diamond shape, like one tiny petal for the hydrangea. But it usually consists of four, so let's do another one. They actually come together, uh, form almost like a cross looking shape, like this. So this is one piece of the small flower that make up a big one. So what we can do is we, keep, we can keep adding some more on the other side. So I'm going to keep drawing more of this shape. Yeah, so we can do another one here. Yeah, so everything look pretty much similar. Like this, keep adding one more. Now we can add more layers for the hydrangea because they all come together to form this big group. So you may not necessarily see every single piece of the petal. What I'm going what I'm going to do here is to maybe add here and there one or two pieces of the petal because uh, you can imagine that the other pieces are hidden underneath the, these other flowers, yeah. So here I'm going to add maybe three pieces like that. Just keep filling up a little more. As you can see, we have almost a big group of petals right now. Okay. All right. Now, say we finished the petal coloring part. What am I going to do is to use the black outline and just to add the outline for these flowers. As I said, our technique is that you can uh, definitely outline all the colors, but you don't have to follow the exact path. So sometimes you can add more or you can reduce uh, the color or make it, make it smaller, however you want it. And so whenever I finish one, I can add the pistol in the middle. I'm doing these like four petal flowers first so that to show that they are not actually uh, hidden behind any other petals. So for some of you this might be a little fast but you, what I'm saying is basically just outline all the shapes that you just have put up um, a, a little earlier. So here you can also add um, different petals and shapes to indicate that this is a busy area that has a lot of petals hidden underneath like that. Okay, this part we're going to add a little more shape. Okay, this last petal coming all the way down and you can add a little pistol as well. So okay, so we finished the flower part, so we're going to add the leaf part because the color is fully covered for the flower, so I don't actually want it to color my leaves, so it's okay that we just start outlining it. Now first of all, you do a tiny little curved line. And then what you do is to um, add some zigzag line, but it has to come all the way down to the center of this line. Okay, and then let's add one, two, maybe one, and two, and three lines like that. Okay, this is one part of the leaf. And then the other part, we can go to the other direction. 
where we can add this line like going into this di direction the line the way how you actually draw it will indicate where the leaf is going to extend to so this part we can finish the middle first and keep adding these zigzag line and coming all the way down to the center of the line and then here again adding a little wavy and zigzag line coming all the way down to the center to meet like that here i'm going to add a, just a little tiny small leaf this is how the leaf is going to extend then do the same a little wavy line coming all the way down Okay, this is how you draw a hydrangea. If you finish this piece, I would love to see it. And so please go to peachandplumlab.com. Join our community for creative kids, a place for kids to learn, share, and also connect with each other and share their beautiful pieces. So I would love to see your work there too. Okay, so this is for today. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye.